Artistic Family, welcome back to today's pour. I'm hoping you guys are doing really well right now. Uh, I hope you guys have had a chance to check out my new Bold Gold series. Bold and beautiful, luxurious and luscious it is. I did part one the other day. I will link that for you guys to take a look. Uh, but I'm not doing them consecutively. Um, so make sure you guys have your notifications on if you're interested in uh, that series which is absolutely gorgeous. I had a few hiccups in the first one. Hiccups happen, but I ended up with a treasure. So happy. So what I'm doing today, guys, is you guys know I love silver. It's one of my favorite colors of metallic, especially by Artist Loft. And so I'm using two different ones today. I'm using Artist Loft Ready Mixed, okay, which is their pre-mixed paint that has really cool properties in it and can create a lot of cool effects. And then I'm using their regular so not pre-mixed silver same color one pre-mix one's not i'm also using the bronze and a bit of black now because i'm using the silver i didn't end up putting any white in it because i didn't want um to be black and to have some charcoal and silver i wanted some pop um, but i wanted it to be like a subtle beauty so I will have the contrast with the bronze and the silver and the black, but um, because it's got to blend a little bit, I didn't want it to get too, too grayish per se. So what I've got here is my favorite pouring cup. Okay, I got this. I like to reduce, reuse, recycle guys. I say do it all the time. I just got this from a laundry detergent cap and I got a couple of them and they're perfect. I've used them a thousand times and they're great. So I'm doing a ribbon pour today, guys. Um, I've only done a few of those. I do like them because they give really good lines and movement. And of course, you can always jazz them up and uh, add in. So, you know, I'm just going to kind of make some designs and um, we're going to go from there. I say oftentimes guys when you do that you'll get different designs. Oops, I'll put the pre-mixed in instead of the regular, but that's okay. Okay, so Positions. Okay, and as you guys, well, you might not be able to see, I'll show you in a second. I have some cool effects starting, guys. And this is what always happens when I have silver down as the base. Always, always, always. As you guys can see, look how the paint is sitting on top, and it's because of the properties of the uh, premix, and it just looks like it floats, but it does eat up the paint to a certain degree. I don't want to take too much off, because I don't want to lose the color. I think I'm going to go over it with uh, bronze after I torch it, and just add some bronze into the top just because uh, I did get a lot more of the gray and charcoal than what I wanted. And like I said, I'm testing the boundaries with this silver because I really want to see with the different colors and how I layer it, 
how it really reacts. And I just took my cup from there, guys. And there we go. I just found it. <laughs> so I'm just going to put some bronze in here. Uh, there's a bit of me that wants to add in a little bit of gold, but I'm really happy with it being... You know what? I think I'm going to add in a bit of white. Just to give it a little bit more. I'm going to do that on both sides. Alright. back and forth here for a sec guys. Blend all that in. Come down a bit. Come down. Come over. And I'm just going to do that until I have the desired look that I want. Again, like I said, looking for cool effects, but for me, the main goal is always beauty, guys. Always beauty. Look at that. Just, just watch up here, guys. Just watch hoping you guys can see and just watch if you guys can tell how the paint looks like it's just sitting on top I mean the paint does sit on top of each other but the way that it stretches out it's, it's as if it's just floating it's just amazing okay now guys I want even more the negative space using a lot of paint a lot of paint a lot of paint Hey guys, this took a while, I really apologize. But sometimes you gotta add some extra love in to get what you want. And I just felt that I needed a little bit more contrast and I was getting a lot more gray than what I wanted. It's gonna take a while to keep playing around and experimenting with this Artist Loft Ready Mix uh, just to understand all of the properties and what it does. But it does always give me a little something. I didn't get the web lacing effect that I was kind of thinking I would get because it happens quite often when I lay the silver down as the base, the premixed, but I did get some of the black flexes is what I call it, these little specks that pop up there. Now that's probably a combination from the black base and having some black in it and tilting, um, but it adds a lot of interest to it. I like that. And it here I go from the light translucent silver into this monochrome gray, and it kind of blends in here, and then I go back to the silver, I'm really happy I uh, kept the negative space and I love the diagonal composition. So anyways guys, thank you so much for joining me as always. Feel free to hit that like button, it is free, it does support the channel and the video and I really do appreciate it. And uh, again, I will link the uh, part one of the Bold Goal series for you guys to take a look at. Please put your notifications on so you know when I post the other ones. And uh, until next time, I will see you in the next forum.